Welcome back to Battlefield 2042. In this video, we are going to be covering the news update being delayed, but also the possibility of new content being completely cancelled. So just quickly before we get any further into the video, if you're not currently subbed to the channel, make sure you do sub to notifications on. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. All support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to support me further as a creator, then check out the links in the description. And let's get into it. So we all know at this point that 2042 had a horrible launch. And the, I mean, there are so many words for it. The launch was an absolute disaster. And upon one of the earnings calls, EA was refusing to give figures for sales and everything like that. They stated the game was a massive disappointment, but they also shared that DICE are used to teaming up with the community to build the future of a Battlefield game. And that just shows really that they all normally launch in really bad states. And not only that, but they don't have a clear vision for the game. They always rely on the community. But taking a look at Twitter, news about Battlefield in the feedback loop is going to be shared next week at some point which has been confirmed by the lead community manager on Twitter, is supposedly going to be Wednesday, and the first feedback loop is supposed to talk about map design, but we have absolutely no idea what that could mean. It could be about anything involved with map design at this point. It might not necessarily be about the updates they're planning to change the design of the current maps and all that sort of stuff in 2042. But looking at this, you have a message. So it's been three weeks. I'm still curious when these potential changes are going to be discussed or put up for feedback. Is this statement no longer true? Or should we be looking at like a once or twice per quarter type communication, just trying to have realistic expectations? And that person got a reply from the lead community manager. And he said it should be next week. But the thing with this feedback loop is it was supposed to happen in Feb. They left it until the very last minute and didn't even bother updating anyone on their bigger social media accounts. People have had to go through Twitter themselves and keep asking questions. Yet when they first announced the feedback loop, they said they'll be keeping everyone updated on the Battlefield Com Twitter account and they haven't shared a single thing about it. And I think that's really bad because you actually have to look for the news and info in this game. They have absolutely no idea how to communicate anymore. I mean, it's not really surprising considering how VoIP isn't a feature in a 2022 AAA first-person shooter. But if we take a look at this image, we'll continue to keep you informed of future updates via the Battlefield.com Twitter account. You can also follow along with our tracking of known issues and game changes that we're able to make in real time on our Battlefield forums. We are committed to and focused on ensuring Battlefield 2042 lives up to our ambitions and your expectations. It's a task we are dedicated to accomplishing. But they can't be that dedicated because it's taken someone to ask for info regarding the game. And this was on the 25th of Feb. They were supposed to get the first bit of feedback, like the feedback loop. They were supposed to do the first part of that in February. But looking back at that image where the question was asked about the feedback loop and the info, the lead community manager then went on to say, we're currently looking at Wednesday. I'll be in the best position on Monday to declare for certain when to expect it. My apologies that we'll miss the previously indicated date for it. So, I mean, yes, there's an apology, but at the same time, they should have done much better, especially a lead community manager. They should have done much better to let everyone know exactly what's going on. And then in terms of the new content being cancelled, Battlefield 5 content was cancelled. They fully abandoned that game to start work on 2042. So this isn't something new. This has been a thing before. Battlefield 5 didn't get some of the content it was supposed to. And now 2042's come out. People are going to have to wait around 8 or 9 months after the launch of the game to play Season 1. They've already delayed the scoreboard. That got pushed back. It's now set to release like sometime in March. We don't know any certain dates, like anything specific at all. But it was supposed to come out in February at some point, and they delayed it. They haven't even specified a rough release window for the addition of VoIP. They just said that we're looking into it for some point in the future. And alongside that, Season 1 has had no information shared about it at all. You've got people leaking info about it, speculating about what's going to be included in the content drop, but there's nothing official that's been confirmed or denied. Their communication as a whole has been diabolical from the very beginning, 
And when it comes to the season pass the people paid extra money for, they never stated if the pass was active from the launch day of the game or from the first day of the first seasonal like drop for content. So it might not be a year one pass based on the first year of the game. It could be a year one pass based on when season one starts. That's when your year of content begins. So for an example, they could delay season one for three years. They've said it's coming out in the summer, but that's the only timeline they've given us. And the summer is an entire season. So you've got like a full three months of wondering when it's going to drop. And we know absolutely nothing. It's EA. They are so good at getting out of stuff. There's a lot of people that have left the game already. With the game usually nowadays sitting at around 2,000 concurrent players across the entire world on Steam. So if people aren't that bothered, there's a smaller chance of them getting lawsuits filed against them. And if you look at the petition that recently happened and over like 200,000 people signed it and EA and DICE said nothing at all. If they do give us bare minimum, like I've said before, I'm just guessing they're going to do the bare minimum. If they do that, in terms of info regarding the content that's coming up or whatever next week during the feedback loop discussion then people are going to have to wait until may for the next earnings call at which 2042 probably won't even be mentioned they left a lot of stuff out that would have been important to that investor call or whatever you want to call it they left a lot of important info out the last time round so they probably won't even speak about the game at all they did say that the game builds up maybe 10% of their portfolio and that's going to slowly drop down to about 5%. So Battlefield 2042 is pretty much nothing. And even if they do say we're doing this, we're doing that, how are we supposed to trust them at this point? They could be lying, everything could get delayed again, they could cancel absolutely everything and just move on away from Battlefield, let the storm blow over, then come back in another two or three years and deliver the bare minimum again. In terms of the content the year one pass holds them to in order to avoid any potential lawsuits, they don't even have to release new maps and a lot of stuff doesn't actually have to be legally released. It'll just be what they specified. So four new specialists, four battle passes, which don't actually include details about how many tiers and stuff they're going to include, and then three epic skin bundles being Blistered Earth, Tempest, and Cold Blood. Absolutely anything for the game outside of what they have stated doesn't ever actually have to be released. So things like the exposure map leak that everyone's talking about could be a real map, but if they can't be bothered to put the work in, they don't actually have to legally release it. But what they could also do is rush to create all of the content for the year one pass, bring some new maps and everything like that. They could code it all into the game, ready to release at certain times and stuff, and then just drop it when it's time to release it so that they don't actually have to do any more work on the game at all. Then after the year one pass is over, they can just go and abandon the game. There is lots of different routes and lots of different things that EA and DICE could pull off with this. After everything that's happened around 2042, I have zero trust. I don't believe a single thing they say. So right now, even though it's too little too late for a lot of people, if anything does come up, I would just wait until it officially gets released. I wouldn't follow anything they say. And I mean, even then, I'd, like if they do release season one and it's broken and they don't want to work on the game anymore, they could just put out a quick hot fix, fix a couple of things, and that'd be everything they do regarding Battlefield 2042. And 2042 could be completely over. I mean, it pretty much is at this point, but I mean, officially abandoned. That could definitely happen within the next 18 months. But what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah.